Want to visit these iconic photo spots in Switzerland? Today I'm going to tell you exactly where they are and tell you how to get there. Most of these are pretty easy to reach with cable cars and short hikes, and the best time to visit is in summer, which would be mid-June through August in Switzerland. On our website, I have trail maps and directions for all of these spots, and I'll link to that in the description. Now let's get to the list. First on our list is Abenalp and the restaurant that's built into the cliff, the Berg Gasthaus Escher. Lots of people like to take their picture on this path that's leading up to the restaurant, and then you'll have the view of the Alpstein peaks in the background. This restaurant is located in eastern Switzerland in the Appenzell region. It's about an hour and a half drive from Zurich or about a two hour train ride. And then to get to the restaurant, you're going to take a cable car up from the valley to Abenalp. From the cable car station, you're going to hike down it's going to start on a stone path and then become a dirt path then you're going to go through a dark tunnel there are handrails through there and lights and then it's going to go on a wooden walkway around the cliffs leading to the restaurant far below the restaurant there's a very popular lake called the Zealpsee and there is a trail leading from the restaurant down to the lake however it's quite dangerous and just in 2002 five people died on this trail so i really don't recommend it unless you have hiking experience and you really are ready to accept that risk number two on my list is the alech arena where you can get a fantastic view of the alech glacier which is the largest glacier in the alps at about 20 kilometers but unfortunately shrinking fast one of the best places to get photos of of this glacier is from the Alech Arena, which is a big mountain resort in southern Switzerland. It's about an hour drive or two hours by train from Zermatt. My favorite place in the Alech Arena to enjoy this view is from Bettmerhorn, and to reach that you would take a cable car from the valley up to the pedestrian-only Alpine village, and then you take a gondola up to the Bettmerhorn viewpoint. From the top of the gondola, there's a very short path out to the viewpoint where you can take pictures, you can wander around on the rocks there, and if you do want to hike, there's a gorgeous panorama trail that goes from there over to the top of another gondola, so you have a lot of options depending on what your energy and fitness levels are. Number three on my list is the Riffelsee, which is the lake where you're going to get that classic picture of the Matterhorn Peak reflected in the water. The Riffelsee is located in the Zermatt area, which is in southern Switzerland. From Interlaken to Zermatt, it's about two and a half hours by car or train. Once you're in Zermatt, you're going to ride the Gorner Grat Cogwheel Mountain Train up the mountain, about 30 minutes to the Rotenboden stop. This is one stop before the very top. And from this stop, it's just a very short walk, about five minutes down a dirt path to the lake. If you do want to hike, there are excellent trails in this region. We like to ride the train all the way to the top of the Gornergrad and then hike from there down to the Riffelsee and then hike from the Riffelsee down to a lower uh, stop on the train. So usually to Riffel Alp and then ride back down to Zermatt. Number four on my list is the cliff walk at Grindelwald Fierst. And this is a metal walkway built into the side of the mountain. And people like to go to the end of this platform raised high up in the air where you can take a picture with the backdrop of the Eiger and many other beautiful mountains above the Grindelwald Valley. This cliff walk is on the mountain above the Grindelwald village. From Interlaken, it takes about 30 minutes by car and 45 minutes by train to reach the Grindelwald village. Then you're going to ride a gondola about 30 minutes up the mountain to Fierst, which is at the top. Right below the gondola station is this cliff walk, and it takes maybe about 15 minutes or less to walk around. There are many beautiful photo spots along the cliff walk, but the most popular photo spot is this platform that's near the end of the cliff walk where people walk out to the edge. But I think most people are making a mistake because if you're standing on the platform and taking a picture of your friends or family, you're not going to get that perspective that they're high up in the air. So what I like to do is stand below them because the walkway does circle around below this platform. And then when I take the picture of them standing on the end, I'm getting this perspective of them being high up in the air as well as the beautiful backdrop of the mountains. If you have time and you like to hike, we really recommend hiking out to the Bakalse. That trail starts at Fier, so the top of the gondola, where you've just done the cliff walk, and it goes about an hour on a pretty easy trail up to this alpine lake. And then you're going to get 
gorgeous views of a bunch of mountain peaks reflected in the water there. Number five is the double arched Roman bridge at the Valley of Arsasco River. I'm sure you've seen pictures of this with this crystal clear water and then people jumping off of the bridge down into the river. This is in southern Switzerland. The bridge is by a village called Lava Terzo and from Locarno it's about 30 minutes by car or 40 minutes by bus. The bridge and river are right by the road so it's super easy to access. You don't have to hike at all. If you want to swim, the water is always icy cold, even in the middle of summer, so you want to go on a super hot day. If you want to hike, there's a beautiful trail along the river. You can hike for about 14 kilometers or much shorter because the bus parallels this trail and you can get off at different stops so you can customize how far you want to go. Part of the trail is the Bobosco Activity Trail and you can get these big wooden balls and roll them down these elaborate marble runs. Well, that's the list. I'm gonna link here the full video for the Avenalp one so you can see other beautiful parts of that trail. And we'll see you here next time for more hiking in Switzerland.